everyone! I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and it's so weird to me that I'm actually saying Christmas is over. It feels like we just started December but we are almost into the new year and it feels so nice to be able to talk to you. I feel like I'm talking to all of you face to face because for the past couple of my videos I've been doing just straight out voiceovers so this is kind of cool and I can kind of have a little bit of a conversation with you guys and kind of explain a little bit like my background if you guys haven't noticed you are definitely not a regular subscriber to my channel but I changed my background I made it a little bit more festive obviously for the holidays but I also changed my angle normally I'm filming this way and you see more of my book case or my shelves and stuff. I am now on a new angle. It makes my room uh, appear much larger because it's it's actually larger than it used to be um, the way I was angling it. And I get to decorate it a little bit more. I get to show off my, right here, I get to show off my girl. I give her some lights and I put up some, I keep doing it the wrong way, I put up some frames. Don't mind those. It's kind of ghetto decorating right now because those are just the pictures that came with the frames, I actually still need to blow up some of my own and put them in there. So those are soon to come, but pretty soon I'm going to have to take down all of my Christmas decorations, so this video is kind of like a uh, farewell to these, because it probably in the next video these will not be here, and I kind of cut off my Nutcracker's head. Hi Nutcracker! So I wanted to film one of these what I got for Christmas videos simply because I love watching them. I love seeing what other people got. But while I was thinking about what I was showing, I felt kind of showy, like I was showing off, and I do not mean to do that by any means. But I did just want to share with you guys because I thought it would be a fun, cute video to do. So let's quit the talking and show you guys what I got. I'm going to start with my stocking because this is the first thing that I open every year on Christmas morning. We open our gifts Christmas morning morning, not Christmas Eve. Some people do it the other way. But in my stocking, it's always full of chocolate. The last thing I really need are a box of turtles, but I am not going to deny them. These right here are some of my favorite chocolates of all time to eat. And then I got some Swiss milk chocolate with almonds. And an orange. Is it your guys' traditions in your family that you have your parents, your mom, stuff your stocking with an orange? Because we've had we've been doing this for years. So I got an orange and some Lindor chocolates. Mom, are you trying to make me gain weight? And she always slips something cute in there, whether it be socks or this year I got a fancy little necklace. And I love this because I wear black a lot especially from, for work, I'm a makeup artist, so any kind of accessorizing that I can do with jewelry is amazing. This is kind of tangled up right now. Here's just a better look at it. Um, this is from Aldo, and very, very pretty. The next gifts came packed in this cute little bag, and I am all about packaging. Sometimes I don't even want to throw them away. Inside, it came with a cute pair of women's cozy socks from Old Navy, because a girl can never have enough socks. You should see my drawer. I have socks that are not even, like the tags aren't even taken off. And I got a couple of OPI nail polishes. This one is called, <laughs> Do She Want Me Baby. Douche. You want me, baby. You can't say that and not say, do she want me, baby. An accent. I don't know. And this one is called, oi, another polish joke. So this might be festive for New Year's. And then I got an Aqua de Gia, de Gio, Giorgio Armani travel collection. And inside is, and inside is a travel size perfume and a body lotion. I haven't even smelled this yet. Hmm, it smells quite lovely. It's light, but it's kind of spicy, which I like. Next, I got an infinity scarf from my mama. And I'm all about scarves, and I love keeping warm, and I'm always cold, so this is gonna keep me very, very warm. It's actually very pretty. And my mom, were showing me. She's like, you can wear it like a shawl and pull it down over your shoulders, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to strictly wear it as like a scarf. And then my sister got me this beautiful clutch from Kate Spade, or it's a purse, I guess, and it can kind of go over the shoulder 
and I really like it because number one it's a color that I wouldn't normally buy for myself and it's slim it's just enough space oh and this too I really like it's finishing here the metal you slide it like this to get in and I really like the fact that it has enough space sorry let me take it off it has enough space that I can fit a few items of makeup in there some essentials if I'm going out and an area for like my phone in here or no it won't fit in there but it's big enough that I can fit my phone and a few other things in there but it doesn't add a lot of bulk to your waist when you have it over the shoulder and I like I said I really like this color I think it's gonna be very fresh for um, for spring like if I was to wear like a yellow and have this over the shoulder or even like a dark gray with this will be very nice or a cream hello beautiful so I'm really excited to wear that and I've never had anything from Kate Spade before I also like their packaging it came in this little slip here and it says she tucked her coral lipstick away and floated back to the party. I thought that's a nice little finishing touch that it came in and I think that will be cool for like traveling. I can have that like your garments in there. My next gift, oh Andy boy, he bought me a, another case for my iPhone 6 because I did get that one or the iPhone 6 last month and I bought this case. Uh, it's pretty similar to this guy, but I bought this one because I knew that day I needed to buy a phone case because if I didn't, I knowing me, I would drop my phone and I would be gone in a second. So I knew I had to buy that case. And then he got me the case that I actually wanted, but they didn't have at the time that I bought the one I bought. So this one is Naked Touch. That sounds funny. This one is the Naked Touch phone case from Casemate. Completely see-through. It doesn't add any bulk to the side. So this one is kind of bulky because when I'm typing, I feel like I'm like, like totally leaning across to get my fingers where they need to be. This one feels a little bit smaller and less bulky. So even though now I have two practically of the same cases, I'll probably still be using this one just because this is actually the one that I wanted. But when he gave it to me, I was like, Andy, you weren't supposed to buy me that because I already have a phone case, but now I have two. So we had a whole talk of how I was gonna use it. This one will probably be for like every day to show off the fact that I do have a gold iPhone 6, even though that sounds vain, but that's the whole point, isn't it? And then this one can probably be for if I travel or if I feel like I'm gonna be rough because it's pretty sturdy. That's what it's known for. This one is the Tech 21 Impactology case for the iPhone 6. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. My cell phone case dilemma, but I'm actually really happy that I got it because that is the one that I wanted. And then Chanel. This is the fragrance that I have wanted forever. It is the Coco Mademoiselle fragrance eau de perfume. It's beautiful. I'm sure all of you have smelt it before. It's so nice like every time I wear it uh, I've never had it before but every time I spray it on myself and I walk around people are like oh my gosh what are you wearing that smells so good on you and every time that I smell it on somebody else I'm like oh my gosh what are you wearing and they're like Coco Mademoiselle so I knew I had to have it and now I have it and the final gift from my parents, my mom chose it so you know she's got good taste because I love it, is the Michael Kors Frankie purse. I, I, when I opened it, me and my sister both got the exact same thing because we're, we're practically twins. We always get the same things from my mom even though there's an age difference between us but you know, it's a thing between daughters. We got this purse and you should have seen our faces when we opened them. I vlogged Christmas morning, but I don't know if I got the reaction to this on there. You can carry it just like this, or you can do the over the shoulder thing. I don't even know which one is gonna be my favorite way to carry it, but I think it's just gorgeous. I love the gold chain. Um, you can take this off, by the way, so you can just carry it like this. I just know it's totally me, and I can fit a whole bunch in here. You just gotta undo this, and then it, undoes the cinch still stuffed full of the packing right now you have all that space in there to fit basically my whole Mary Poppins life and um, I love the compartments because oh, 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 
I'm gonna fall. I love the compartments because it does have a zipper pocket right here and then two two spots right here for your phone, your, your wallet, your keys. Although it does actually have this to link for your keys. And two more pockets on this side and then literally all that space for all your stuff. And I am so, so excited to use this. Thank you, Mom. And those are all of my goodies. Some of the items that I bought myself while I was out shopping for others just happened to be sitting here. I bought myself another fragrance. I bought this a few months ago, but it was a smaller size. So now I bought the 50 ml of the Stila Creme Bouquet fragrance. This is beautiful. If you guys haven't smelled this or you didn't know that Stila makes a perfume, because I didn't either, this is one of my favorite scents. It's like a powdery, fresh smell. And then while I was at Winners, I bought this 8 hour cream set from Elizabeth Arden. Everybody talks about the 8 hour cream, they say it's like a miracle cream. And the set came with a lip balm and an 8 hour hand cream. So I'm really excited to give this a whirl and see how it works. And one more item that I consider a Christmas gift is this brush set from SL Miss Glam. And I was hanging out with her last week and she gifted me these and I thought it was so sweet and I cannot wait to try them out because they're so pretty, pretty and pink. And she's also, her name is Steph, she's also a YouTuber and I will link her Instagram down below so you can check out her product. She also has a whole line of lashes, mink lashes, I'm wearing them right now. She gave me all of her lashes too, I feel so spoiled. But I'm going to be trying these out this week, but I just wanted to include this and say thank you for giving these to me, Steph. So sweet. Filmed everything and forgot this sweater that my mom also bought me and I'm hiding my face with it because I just washed off all my makeup. <laughs> and I totally forgot to include this sweater, which is very nice. I wore it on Christmas Day, and this is from Joe Fresh, and I also really love this. I actually tried it on while I was with her in a pink, and I didn't care for that color, and she bought me this one instead, and I'm totally digging it. Those are my goodies from Christmas. Let me know what you guys got in the comments below, and I hope you all have an amazing New Year, or New Year's Eve, because that's coming up in a few days and I will be filming a video very very soon on my New Year's resolutions for YouTube because I do have a few of them and I'd love to let you guys know what's coming up for my channel in the new year so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as always I will be leaving all of my links for how to connect with me on Twitter Instagram and Facebook and I do have a website it's trinadura.com make sure to check that out and I will see you all in my next video I also got one more gift for my grandparents, but I'm wearing those right now. Hello, that YouTuber life. We're in pajama pants on the bottom. They're fleece, and they are amazing.